Jacko always said, when you're sitting at the foot of a mountain and you realise how insignificant you are, not only to the world, but to the problems that are running through your head. And that, that's something that's been very, very apparent the last few days, not just for me, but for the, whole, the group as a whole. I'm supposed to go up there. In terms of the effort he's put in over the last four days, like I always knew he was a grafter and a bit of a Trojan, but I don't think I could ever have prepared myself for what I saw. I think everyone echoed that as well. To see him drag his foot through kilo after kilo of snow, refuse to give up backpacks, wait, not achieve summits, destinations, objectives has been um, nothing short of inspiring. I know a lot about Jacko, but I've, I've learned an awful lot the last four days about just how driven and, and dare I say it, special that bloke is. It's not about getting to the summit, it's been about everything else that's been created in, you know, in between. Um, and Ed is an utter inspiration. He's a new friend, 100% I would say. I've solidified friendships with people I know. I've 100% made new friends for life. Um, and it's just, it's just been amazing for me. And I feel like it's helped me massively during this time that I'm in. Um, and I won't ever forget it and I 100% will come back or do something else and definitely do something else with it again because it's just really given me a life that, you know, that kind of lust for life that I'm all about that I've lost for over the last six months and I feel that while I've been here I got it back so I won't forget that. Well, the last few days have been incredible. Um, we didn't achieve the goal we wanted which was Summit Grand Paradiso but to be fair um, it was never really an option. The snow conditions, you know, we had climbing guides who had over 150 ascents of that one mountain. People with hundreds of mountains in the Himalayas experience and they're saying they've never seen worse snow conditions. Uh, I was sinking up to my hips basically every step and it wasn't really an option so we did our best, we got up to the glacier. 45 minutes is about how long it usually takes to get to this point. It's taken us two hours safe folks but the only sensible thing to do at this point is to turn around. But like I've always said these trips are just about the people you connect with, it's about the journey not the destination and we've had a great group of people this time as always. We've raised over 30 grand. It's been a really successful trip in my eyes. I know some people are disappointed they didn't get to the top but the mountains aren't going anywhere and we live to fight another day. Early in your mountaineering career, you want to climb everything and summit everything, but that's absolutely not what mountaineering is. Mountaineering is about taking the luck that's presented to you in terms of weather and things like that, and today we didn't have it. What we've got in Ed is an absolute incredible driving force who's going to succeed. And if he, if he loves mountaineering like we do, like we think he does, those opportunities are going to present themselves in, in, in multitude over the coming years. It's going to be a fantastic thing to, to follow be part of. Boom.